today on Divorce Court. Since we've been married, it's like the nagging, the attitude is becoming unbearable. If she doesn't get something her way, then it's, it's World War III. She calls me all types of names, and it's starting to take a toll on my manhood. I love my husband dearly, but between working and his obsession with smoking weed, it seems like he doesn't have time for me and the kids. I'm young <laughs> and hot, and you know, I can't just sit around and be in a marriage that's not working. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Shani Wayban and Leo Wayban. Mr. and Mrs. Wayban, you have been married for two years, although you have been together for four years. You have one child together. Mrs. Wayban, you have one of the most interesting stories about how you met and how you first became friends with Mr. Wayban. Please tell it to me. Well, we initially met, you know, through social media, and we would chill and hang out. I moved away from Virginia. Uh, I had to come back to Virginia for some court issues. When I went to court, they told me I was late and I had a warrant for my arrest. So they arrested me in court. I had my daughter with me and my friend at the time. And they told me that I had to leave my daughter with him or call CPS. And... How old was your daughter? She was two. So, um, I began to, you know, panic, but I had to make a decision right in that moment. So I made the decision to have her go with him. Mr. Um, Wayban, did that scare you? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, two year old. Yeah. Did you did you have any little brothers or sisters no, or I other was the children? First kid I ever took care of. Didn't know what to do. Didn't know what to do. That'd make you love a guy right there. <laughs> 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 Why don't you tell me? Now that you've married and you've married for two years, why is this relationship in trouble? First of all, he's obsessed with weed. He hides the weed. He is so stingy with it, too. Like... <laughs> <laughs> so you're not mad so much he's smoking weed, but he won't share it he with you. He won't share it. He go to work and hide the weed. I have to call him and be like, where Where's the do, weed? Where is the weed? <laughs> and sometimes, because it's like the house, I don't have time to search the whole house for weed. It's, hot, his, <laughs> it's hidden in between his hats and the drawers in the laundry room. He's very creative. He hides it in a different spot every day. And I, it's like, wow. Now, now Mr. Wayband, I, 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 I can't support good. the smoking of weed, <laughs> especially in a home with children in it. It's not cool. It's not good. They could get a hold of it. You hide, not really together. You know, you just sitting there kind of chilling. They're doing this, that, and whatever. But the weed you do have, do you hide it from your wife? From time to time, yes. Will she smoke up your weed if exactly, you're not there? Exactly why I hide it. Exactly why I hide it. Because I feel like I work hard for it, so I want to smoke it. When I, when you I choose to smoke it. You work hard for the weed. I, wow. I work two jobs. I feel like when I work, I want to chill and smoke my weed. How do you know I smoke I mean? it up if you smoke more than me, though? I can well, literally now, now, just now, smoke... Now, now. Let's, 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 let's not get CPS involved again. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Wayband, you said you're a stay-at-home mom, right? Yeah. You I don't say, want to. I don't choose to be a stay-at-home. You say he's home. very, very controlling. You tell me what you mean by that. He, oh my gosh, he won't. He got me on lockdown. I'm, I'm in jail right now. <laughs> tell, tell me how, how I'm you doing on the lockdown. Bed. When I have an interview, if I set up something that I have an interview, I let him know prior a week, probably two weeks. He still be like, oh, I gotta work. But I told you in advance so that maybe you can take off early. Maybe you can take that day off. Why do I have to sit in the house? all day, every day. I can't have no friends, nothing. Do you not want her to work outside the home? I'm saying, like, I support... If she, if she wants the job, I support it, you know what I mean? He's lying. Just as, as long as it doesn't interfere with what I'm doing, you know what I <laughs> mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I make a majority of the money, so... I should... Well, you make all the money, because exactly. you didn't have like, an outside should... job. Exactly, so I should be able to, you know what I mean, have a say-so on when, when I should be able to go to work, not, you know what I mean? Not listen to what she... I mean, listen to what she says, but I feel like... Where's the compromise? Here's the thing. Yeah. He who makes the gold makes the rules used to be a saying, but it's not a good one. Right. Because if you're making all the gold and you're making all the rules, it doesn't take into account the needs of your partner. Apparently, she is in need of intellectual stimulation, <laughs> stimulation beyond that which she is right. getting at home. 
So aren't you truly trying to preclude her from getting a job because it is easier for you to have her home with the kids? I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it at all. Because if she tells me she has like, an interview or whatever, I tell her to go ahead and do it. Wow. I tell her, go ahead and do it. I'm like, yo, do your interview. You know what I mean? As what long as it's friends? not interfering do... with work. So I have to have the interview at 9 o'clock at night? Like, when do I get to have nah, the interview? Nah, nah. Mr. Webber, what about her friends? Are you, are you... Her friends are thoughts. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't... She has one friend that I'm like, yo, she's cool, go out with her, hang out and all night. And she lives all the way like, in Virginia. It's like, I support her in everything, because if, if I didn't support her in everything, we would not be living in Vegas. I moved from Virginia to New York. To what, New... what do you mean you support her in everything? I said, like... Her jobs and stuff, like... What she does she have a job? Like, How she, much she, 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 she have, be like, getting? Like, she wants to start this little mason jar job. I'm all for it, you know what I mean? Because it don't mm. interfere with nothing you got going on. I have right, to literally so yeah, yeah, work I, from my house. Yeah. But when she, when she does have a job from home, she doesn't take that serious. She had a job at home. She didn't want to take that serious. So I'm like, yo, work. Get as many hours as you can while I'm at home, you well, know what I mean? Mr. Wayband, you say she's verbally abusive to you. Why don't you explain that to me? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm all types of bees. When, when she's mad and she hasn't found my weed, I'm all types of bees, <laughs> I'm fat, I'm this, I'm that. And it's like, it's a low blow when she tells me that I'm a bad father or I failed at a husband, at being a husband. And she knows like me, by her saying I'm a bad father, that hits me because like, my dad wasn't there for me and I, had to, I was raised with my stepdad, but he was in the service so he wasn't always around. So when she calls me a bad father or I failed at a husband, it gets to him. Mm -hmm. Now, do you, do you call him names? Do you say things to him that you know really hurt his heart? Sometimes. She comes, she was like, my baby needs diapers. Give me the keys. And I'm like, nah, I'll go get them. Give me the money. Why could not you can't have just the, give keys? Me the keys? She don't got a license. Oh, oh that's a good reason. Good. Oh, you got your license is straight right now? It's good, you know what I mean? Oh, it is? Let's pull it up. Yeah. Let's pull Listen, it up. when you leave here, you're all going to have exactly. CPS. Exactly. What are you doing? The DM. You're bugging out. Mrs. Wayban, you claim that your husband is a bit childlike. Why don't you explain what you mean by that? Um, basically, he likes to play games all day long. As soon as I do it back, it's a problem. He likes to sneak play up games. on you me. You mean video games? Oh, that too. He likes to. Oh, he. Hmm. He likes to prank me. He likes to take pictures of me when I'm asleep, mouth wide open. He likes to uh, when I'm taking a shower. He likes to sneak up on me and scare me half to death, and I fall in the tub. Like, as soon as I do one thing, it's you play too much. Monica, this is what you like to do. Mr. Wayband, are you a jokester at home? Not really. Like, I come home from work, and sometimes I get I get home a little early, so I just like, where's my family? It should be in the shower. It should be sleeping. And I just creep up on them. You know what I mean? I don't feel like it's nothing bad. It's just. He's being playful. Yeah. So why I mean, would I like, do the, the whole day, it's like, I miss her, you know what I mean? So, like... Well, you say, in response, she has quite a temper and she, an anger issue. Why don't boy, you... Boy, that anger issue, man... It was an instance the other day, I'm like... She comes, she was like, my baby needs diapers. First of all, it's our baby, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. I'm like, you need diapers, give me the money. I, I didn't have no money that day. I had got paid later on that night, so I was like... She was like, well, give me the keys. And I'm like, nah, I'll go get him. Give me the money. Boom. She gets, she gets all mad. Well, why couldn't why you she can't have just the, give keys? Me the keys? Because I ain't want to drive my car. Because you ain't driving my car. Why not? She don't got a license. Oh, oh that's a good reason. Yeah. Oh, you got your license is straight right now? It's good. You know what I mean? Oh, it is? Let's pull it up. Yeah. Let's pull it up. Listen, when you leave here, you all going to have exactly. CPS. What are you doing? Your DM. You bugging me. out. Nah, but she, like, like, she flips out. So, like, that day, I'm like, I'm like, I'll go get it. She like, nah. She, and then she was like, you know what? This is the last draw. I start taking my clothes and throwing them outside. Pictures right here if you want to see them. Oh, I do want like, to see them. I'm throw, like, yo. Do you throw and I'm like, yo, I work hard for these clothes, you know what I mean? And you she, throw she'll his throw clothes my clothes outside like, when you get mad? Yeah. More sometimes. than one time, too. More than one time. Because I'll so be you done. You guys on the second story, too. Yeah, I'll be everybody done. Everybody get to see my clothes, man. I'll be done. They go right he here. He don't let me break up with him. Well, you're married to him. <laughs> he been not mean? letting me, but he been not letting me break up. Before we got married, he wouldn't let me leave. 
If you wanted to leave before you got married, what in the world did you marry him for? I mean, I didn't want to leave, leave. I need a break sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all in this break business. I never heard of a break, but you know, I need a break. You say she is inconsiderate. She is. She Tell is. me in what way she's inconsiderate. Like... He don't care I about his own feelings. Hold on. I went to the... I, I told her I had to go to a barbecue. She was like, all right, I got to do my nails and all this. I'll be back in time for you to go to your barbecue. She comes back two hours later. It's 8 o'clock. I'm going to the barbecue. I go to the barbecue. They're all like, man, y'all late, man. The party ain't start without y'all. So I'm like, okay. okay so then the whole time, she's blowing up my phone. Babe, come home. The kids are up. They driving me crazy. I'm like, all right. I get home. Both of the kids are asleep. She's in the bathroom doing her makeup. I'm like, where you about to go? Oh, I'm about to go to the club with her friend. So I'm like, you rushed me home so you could go to the club. That same story she was telling earlier, that's when she came home at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. And then she expects for me not to be mad, but I'm like, you, this is my only day off. Exactly. And that's I, our day off. It's my only day off. I'm like, how is it her, our day off is? Because I'm, I'm with working. the kids every I got day. You. I it's got our you. day off. I, we I, got I, I get that it. day. I, I think I see what's wrong here. What? Please tell me. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have no female friends. I can't have no female friends, Yana. They just don't want to fool with you. Yeah, they don't you, want they no They know problem. how you get. They know how you are. Hello. They know how you roll. Yep. And it's pass. too much trouble yes, too to be much. picking at your man. Yes, very much. Is that true, Mr. Wayback? Yeah. I can't, I can't have no female friends. <laughs>Wow, but you, when you have an attitude, you go sleep on the couch. So what you mean you don't want to go to bed with an attitude? It'd be certain times like... Whoa. Okay. When you've checked his phone, have you ever caught any caught him doing anything? Um, I did see him inbox somebody, said, oh, you beautiful. You did it. I Look did. at that face. <laughs> you did. did do it. I did. Who were you... Well, don't tell me who, but were you inboxing women and saying, you're beautiful? Yeah. And you understand her anger when she saw that like, inbox, correct? Yeah. Is it something you do on the regular? No. But she, like... But was this woman special or something? No, nah, it's just somebody had, somebody had inboxed her and... Said uh, I was beautiful, her, so now he gonna inbox so somebody like, else and say they beautiful. And, and I did that right there with, when she was in the room, so I'm like... But I didn't know you did that. Come on. Well, hold up, hold up, hold up. You say you inbox somebody's you're beautiful because somebody inboxed that to yeah, her? Yeah, and she bragging, like, I don't want to hear that from another dude. Well, you should I be telling like... me that all day, every day, I then. tell her she's beautiful. Now, Ms. Wayben, no, are no. you worried about his female co-workers and friends at all? No. They know he I'm crazy. He seems to believe you are. <laughs> <laughs> they what? They the... know what it is. I can't have no female <laughs> I, can, I can't have no female friends, Yana. They just don't want to fool with you. Yeah, they don't you, want they no know problem. how you get. They know how you are. Hello. They know how you roll. Yep. And it's pass. too much trouble. Yes. To too be much. picking at your man. Yes, very much. Is that true, Mr. Wayback? Yeah. yeah. I can't. I can't have no female friends. <laughs> I cannot have no female friends. Like, like we just moved to Vegas, so I'm like, if I was to meet a female friend there, no new friends. Exactly. What you mean? Exactly. See, I can't have no female friends. I'm your female hey, friend. Hey, 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 what kind of things does she do? Give she, me the example of the most outlandish thing she did to a young woman friend of yours. One of my friends, I, I, I wrote her in the inbox, and I was like, you're beautiful. She came to my job. As I'm working, making money for the family, and just start going crazy. I was like, shocked. 
I Yo, ain't, I ain't even know he like, did. Like come he outside, do stuff come like outside. That. You better talk. To me. So I come outside. I tell my 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 chef, I'm like, yo, I gotta go outside, sure handle do. this right fast. I go outside. She's just cussing me out and walking away. So I'm like, you having me leave my job for what? To talk, but you walking away. So I'm like, forget it. I'm going back to work. You know what I mean? I come home. It's more blah 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 blah. <laughs> Some of that weed money. <laughs> Go down to the DMV mm -hmm. and get your license taken care of. You guys have to start conducting your business as if you're grown. You two are a couple of high schoolers, you know, <laughs> smoking joints, uh, hiding weed, driving cars without a good license. You know, I'm scared to death for your children. I don't even know, I don't even want to know what's going on with them. And then you interact like you're two 15-year-olds. Before you confront somebody about something, you have to inquire. That's what intelligent people do. They don't come, ah, la, 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 la. Oh, and I you have all the information hey, I hey, need hey, to hey, know. Hey, 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 And especially you don't la, 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 la on his job, because his job pays your bills. So you have to be smart enough not to get this man fired, because you mad. That's grown folks' business. And marriage is grown folks' business. Don't get high so much. <laughs> <laughs> Find something else to do. You need to grow your life. There's, you know, people come in here, it's either I'm at the club or at home messing with the kids, can't stand it. At the club, you know what I'm saying? There's a whole lot more to life than babies in clubs. There's stuff you can do, things you can learn, passions you can pursue, so you can have a full, interesting life, whether or not you're going out to the club at the wee hours in the morning. You could be an interesting person, and you won't be bored because you're not a boring person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let the woman out of the house. I do. It, no, right. no, you don't. You do that which is convenient for you. Mm. You, you. You decide because you've made the money that you can control the rules, that you don't have to talk to her about it. You don't have to uh, address her concerns or her problems because you have the right to get what you want because you the one making the money. Well, she's the one raising your children. She's the one that's the platform upon which they stand and upon which they're going to build their future. If she's not okay, your children are not okay. So don't look at it like a 12-year-old would. Well, it's my, you know, it's like everybody's playing football and you get mad, but so it's your football, you gonna go home? <laughs> it, you, you, you can't do that. Right. The, it, it, it's the team way band. The team way band got a whole lot of people on it. You may be the quarterback, but if you ain't got no front line, you right. won't get down the field. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Grow up. I wrote a book called Making Marriage Work. It teaches you how to have a conversation. Right. I want you to read it to one another one evening. No weed Thank involved. You. Okay. Do you understand right. that? Yes, Good luck to the both of you. This matter is adjourned. After hearing what Judge Lynn Toller had to say, I think I'm going to react to situations a little differently. Maybe think before I... <laughs> After hearing the judge's advice, I'm like, I gotta listen to her more, more often and think before I act and take her feelings and stuff into consideration. I love this girl. I love you too, babe. I couldn't live life without it. You know?